Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Championship Project. So this is episode 8 guys and we are back with another episode. But just before we do get into this episode guys, I need to give a shout out first of all to a couple of people. So first of all I need to give a shout out to Carl Woods who uh, I was going to give him a shout out in, in my last video but I completely forgot to so apologies for that. Basically in my last career mode video I asked you guys to predict predict the score for the Preston Fulham match and he correctly guessed the score it was 2-1 to Fulham in the end so fair play to him I'll leave his comment on the screen now so uh, fair play to him he did guess the correct score so, as you can see guys my graphics on my channel have recently changed so my logo and my background banner have recently changed and that's all th thanks to Lewis the Gamer go check him out guys I'll leave a link to his uh, Twitter in the description down below and I'll leave a link to his YouTube as well go give him a follow on Twitter and go subscribe to him on YouTube he definitely deserves it as uh, I think they look pretty sick if I may say so myself they just look absolutely incredible so uh, very much thanks to him for doing that for me and uh, yeah so make sure you guys go check him out in the description down below I'm sure he'll be very grateful for that but other than that guys this is the team that I thought I shuffled the team a, a little bit around since the last episode as of course in the last episode we did actually lose Andre Gray which is a massive hindrance for us so this is what the team's looking like we've got quite a few impact players on the bench who we could potentially bring on but I've switched the formation up a little bit we went for a 4 one 2 one 2 second variation and I've actually decided to put Ross McCormick up front with Long now you may not remember Long but earlier on in this series, he actually scored two goals for us in the both two matches he played for us. So I thought we'll give him another chance today. And basically, guys, I'll go show you now what we need to do to get promotion out of this division. So guys, as you can see, we have six games remaining. And we are currently in Division 8, fighting to get up into Division 7. So if we win both our matches today, guys, that will have guaranteed we will have got the title then for the division title. So hopefully we'll be able to do that in this episode, guys. In the last episode, in our last match, we did actually lose 2-1, as you can see there. So hopefully we'll get a win today. So let's go into the first game of today's episode now, guys. Okay, guys, so into the first game of today's episode we go. And he has a very decent League of BBVA team there. He's got a deadly forward three of Figuli, Jackson Martinez, and Canopli Anchor. He's got a very solid team indeed. 82 rated, 100 chemistry. This could be a tough game for us there, especially since we've lost Andre Gray. But hopefully the lads will be able to do it because we need this win if we're going to get the title in this episode. So let's see what we can do. I have actually decided to change our kit, guys, to the Charlton kit. Since they're having a bit of a tough time at the moment, and so I thought I'd change it to the Charlton kit as they're uh, having a bit of a difficult time with their owners at the moment. So I thought that would be a nice thing to do for today's episode. Not now, not now, not like this. Don't let him score. Don't let Faguli get the shot. Oh, faguli has got it into the back of the net in the 76th minute. Honestly, not much has happened in this game, guys. But that is absolutely gutting. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make some changes after this because I just don't feel like this formation's working. Faguli gets it on goal. Good goal pass in the guard. Maybe you should have had that covered. I'm going to make some changes now, though. Okay, guys, there are the changes I'm going to make. I'm going to bring Catamol on, Van La Parra on, and Megidi on. Hopefully, to bring us a bit of width and a bit of strength in the midfield. Hopefully, that works. Let's just see if we can get back into it. Well, oh, here we go. Chance here. Chance here for Downing. Downing, please finish that. Stuart Downing. Oh, my word. He's put it wide. Oh, that was such a good opportunity. So he's completely outnumbered me here. Palmer's going to have to do something. He's going to get a goal here with Faguli shortly. Oh, Linda Gard. No, he's made it 2 0. He's wrapped it up for the three points there. That, of course, means that we're going to be losing someone at the end of this match, guys. That is not good news for us at all. Oh, Malone, what a goal. I wasn't expecting that to go in, if I was being honest. I just thought I'd take a shot. Why not? And Scott Malone, what a goal that is. Uh, I'm telling you now, he's not going to be the player that we're going to be losing at the end of this game because that was an absolute belter from Malone there. What a goal this is. I was just I just thought I'd take a pop shot and the game would be over and it'd go flying over the bar. But what a goal that is. It just dips perfectly. Fantastic goal. It's just a consolation. I can't see us getting another one. If I'm being honest, but Jesus. And that is full time, guys. Of course, we have lost 2-1, which means we are going to be losing our lowest rated player. So, I've not got a good feeling about this, guys. So, let's go and see now who that player is going to be. Guys, I, it's... Uh, I actually can't believe what I'm saying this, but the player that we've lost, he's been with us since almost the start, really. He was one of the first players that we unlocked. We're going to be losing Van La Parra. Such a good player for the club, but he's only managed to get a 5.2 rating today. It's with regret that I'm going to have to do this, guys. But Van La Parra, who's going to be a good servant for the club, he's been removed from the squad. Jesus Christ, I can't believe I've done that. Okay, guys, so for the second game of today's episode, this is the team I'm going to be playing with. I've switched around the team a little bit. I've got Manu back in the team. I've also got Magidi back in the team as well. We're playing Kodro up front. Hopefully, he'll be able to do something. In his first two games for us, he's not managed to get a goal yet, but he has got two assists, so hopefully, he'll be able to do something for us. And uh, hopefully, we'll be back to winning ways because lately, we have not been doing well at all. That's two defeats on the bounce we've got in this series now. So let's see if we can rectify that. 
Okay guys, so for the second game of today's episode, and oh my word, the, yet again, the guy has a really decent team compared to mine. He's got a full Bundesliga team, very deadly attack, and Muller and Hernandez. He's got Goethe playing in behind, Bellarabi, Draxler on the wings. This could be a very hard match yet again, guys, but we need to get back to winning ways. Let's go, Josh McEachern has been fed in there. Josh McEachern comes inside. McEachern, go all the way, Josh. Josh, get the shot away. McEachern, oh, he's hit the bar, no. Oh my word, that just sums up today's episode so far, really. Oh no, Hernandez. Hernandez feeds that ball in. Surely that's a goal. No. Oh my god. Come on. When you consider in those sort of goals, you just can't do anything about it. We did. I thought we defended quite well then, and it's just the, the third shot he's managed to get away. Goethe puts it in. 1 0 to win. Can't do anything about that. I think last minute of this half. Come on, Stuart. If you can get this in, all is forgiven. Stuart Downing. Oh my word. No. How has that not gone in? Oh my word. Manu, play that ball up here to McEachern. McEachern, come on. Josh McEachern, please do something for us here. McEachern, surely that's a penalty, ref. Yes, we've got a penalty. This is absolutely massive for us, guys. If we manage to get this in, we could potentially get a winner. Oh, we're going to give the responsibility to Aiden McGeady. McGeady, where are we going to go? I'm saying this way. McGeady, please score this. Yes, McGeady. He gets us back into this game. If we get another goal, guys, that could be absolutely massive for us. But we need to get another goal. It draws no good, really. I don't know if this is going to make much of a change, but I'm going to bring some subs on just to see if these can have any impact on the game whatsoever. I'm going to make these changes now. Hopefully, we'll be able to do something with them. I'm actually going to bring Miller on up front. Hopefully, Miller will be able to get the winner for us, guys, but honestly, it's not looking too good for us. Let's go, McEachern. McEachern running in on goal. McEachern, finish that. Josh. Oh, Manu at the back post. Manu. Oh, he's in the post. No way is that not gone in. Go, Miller. Miller. Oh, you've got a player running in there. It's Josh McEachern. McEachern, what can you do? Please don't mess this up for us, Josh. Josh, pull that one across into McCormack. Finish that. Yeah. Yes, in the last minute. This is absolutely huge, guys. We needed that goal. And I believe, is that Ross McCormack? It is. It's Ross McCormack in the last minute to make it 2-1 to us. This is absolutely fantastic. It's, oh, my word. I can't believe this. It's Josh McEachern with the assist and the substitute on from the bench, Ross McCormack. This is absolutely pivotal for us. Free kick in the last minute. We did not want this at all. We're going to bring the wall forward as, much, as far as possible. Please say that's full time. Yes, that is full time, guys. We managed to win the match. That is absolutely huge. For us. I can't tell you how much how massive that is. That still gives us a chance of winning this title. As you can see, guys, it was Josh McKechnie with the man of the match in the end. Absolutely pivotal for us. Oh, I can't believe that still. Okay, guys, so as our first goal was scored in the 77th minute, the first player that we're going to be able to add in is a bit of a Charlton legend, Johnny Jackson. I think he's been at the club for a long time. Obviously, we have him wearing the Charlton kit in today's episode, so maybe that's a bit of a coincidence, but he's the first player coming into the to today's team. And then, guys, as our last goal was scored in the 90th minute, what we do, we go, we get onto the first page of players. That leads to the 88th minute, so then we circle it around, we get to the second minute, and that actually leads to Agpan from Blackburn Rovers, so not really the best choices. We got two new centre mids in the team, but really what I wanted the most was a striker, but nevertheless, we'll go ahead and add them into the squad now. Okay, yeah, so for this episode, I am going to play three matches, just because if we do win this match, we will have guaranteed, we will have got the title, basically, so we really do need a win in this match. This is the team that I'm going to go with. I'm bringing both new players into the team. I'm bringing Jackson and Akpan both into the team. Akpan actually looks like a bit of a beast, if I'm being honest. He's got some very nice, well-rounded to that six foot as well, so he could be a big help for us. So, this is the team we're going with. Hopefully, we'll be able to get the win and the title. Come on. Okay, guys, so for the team we're playing for the title, this is the team he has. And yet again, we played three absolutely incredible teams today, and this is yet another solid team. He's got a very nice Serie A team. That forward three scares me already. Jovino, Higuain, and Cudrado is a forward three. That just looks very deadly. So, hopefully, we'll be able to break him down and Hopefully, we'll be able to get the title. You can do Benucci for pace. He's done Benucci for pace. Manu, get your ball in. Manu, into Kudja. Kudja, yes, Kudja. In the 25th minute, Kudja gets the first goal of today. We need more goals than this, definitely, because he's got a great team. But that's a fantastic start to today's game. Kudja takes the lead. I believe that's his first goal for the club, but we'll take that all day long. It's Manu with the assist. Kudja with the goal. Come on, we can do this. Oh, here we go. Jackson, feed that ball into Kudja. Kudja wrapped it up. Yes, Kudja's made it 2-0. Get in there. We absolutely needed that goal. Let's see if we can get some more goals in today's episode now, guys. But Kudja, that is absolutely massive. We needed that. Come on. And guys, as you can see, it does appear that we've got a rage quit from this guy. So obviously he'd had enough of us. So uh, that in the end, that's absolutely fantastic for us. So obviously, as we won by two goals, that means we get to unlock two players for scoring two goals. We got a rage quit, which means we'll be able to unlock an extra player on my choice. And as we got the win there, that means that we got promotion, which means we'll be able to unlock a past player. So that means four players are coming in at the end of this episode, guys. So after all the defeats we've had in the in the past two episodes, this more than makes up for it now, guys. So let's go and see who the players that we are going to be unlocking are going to be. 
So guys, as our first goal was good in the 25th minute, the first player that we're going to be able to unlock is Jeffrey Malakana. Now, I'm not actually sure if he's still in the game, because he do I don't think he actually plays for Brighton anymore. If there are any Jeffrey Malakana cards on the market, I will buy him, but if there's not, then I'll buy one of the players to the side of him. And then guys, as our next goal was going in the 54th minute, the next player that we're going to be able to unlock is Hall from MK Don. So, that's a pretty decent acquisition, he's got a good amount of pace, so we'll take that. As you can see guys, there is the confirmation that we have won the title, that is absolutely massive for us. Okay guys, so since the guy did rage quit, that meant that I could go out and get any player that I wanted to, and the player that I decided to go out and get is Brit Asombolonga. Now there is a reason that I've gone out and got this guy, but but just looking at his card stats, he looks like an absolute monster to play up front for us. So obviously he's got 85 pace, 70 shooting, 70 physical, he looks like a pretty beast card if I may say so. And then guys, we had the option to go and un un unlock a past player, since we did manage to get the title win in the end. So the player that I decided to go out and, and unlock is Yannick Balati. I thought since it was actually Kudja, who managed to get us promotion, scoring the two goals on the final day. I thought it would only be right if we went and unlocked a past Bristol City player. So the player that I've decided to go out and buy is Yannick Balassi. Obviously, he did play for Bristol City. I think he was back in 2011, correct me if I'm wrong, but he was back in 2011, I think. So he's going to come into the team, and the team now is just looking absolutely awesome. Okay guys, so in the next episode we will be going into Division 7 and this is the team that we're going to be going into Division 7 with. As you can see, it looks like an absolutely sick team and we have got obviously Balassi on full chemistry and he does get that link with the Sombolonga. We've also got Monacana in the team. It's gonna, uh, Hull's gonna have to wait to get his debut as I'd rather play Balassi for the time being but he is in the club just so you guys know. So uh, that will wrap it up for this video guys of the Championship Project guys. If you have enjoyed, make sure you do leave a like. Your support lately has been absolutely insane guys so if we can keep that up, that would be absolutely mental. So smash the like button if you have enjoyed guys, it really does help me out. And uh, yeah, make sure you check out all the links in the description down below. But other than that guys, I will see you all in the next one.